Hello everyone and welcome to Soul Stained Ink. My name is Beth and I am here today with a weekend reads and writes video. So as you know, it is November, so we are now into NaNoWriMo and I am participating this year as well as teaching two writing courses in which my students are going to be participating in NaNo as well in the Young Writers Program. I'm very excited about it. Um, <clears throat> so my reading, which hasn't been great lately anyway, is going to take even more of a dive. Or actually it might not because if I'm reading, then I'm not writing and I do love to procrastinate. So we'll see what happens. Uh, first, let's talk about the books I might possibly be procrastinating with. I've got The Forgotten Girl by India Hill Brown. I'm about halfway through and it's a very well written and a little spooky and I'm enjoying it a lot right now. It is a middle grade book and so far uh, there has been talk of spirits and they find a hidden grave. This girl Iris and her best friend Daniel find a crumbling gravestone that's kind of a forgotten grave and they begin looking into it. And it's very interesting and historically accurate. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, next, I'm probably going to be reading Dino Riders, How to Rope a Gigantosaurus by Will Dare. I believe I'm going to be reading this with Elena. But I'm not sure if she wanted to read it with me or have me read it and decide whether or not she would enjoy it or whether I should just take it to class. Uh, so I will find that out. But we will be reading that soon. I also want to pick up Tunnel of Bones by Victoria Schwab soon. I've been wanting to pick this up for weeks and uh, have not been able to get to it yet. So I'm really hoping to get to it very quickly. I sat down and read the first book, City of Ghosts, in one sitting. So I'm hoping that maybe Elena will play and Ray will sleep and I will get at least several chapters of this read at some point, maybe tomorrow. And then the last book that I'm going to be looking at just over the next week is Temple Grandin's Calling All Minds, How to Think and Create Like an Inventor. It also includes 25 projects for kids. So this is aimed at kind of children and uh, middle grade students, but there's a lot of writing in it. So I'm reading it to see if A, I will come, hello kitty. I had to see if A, I can come up with anything to use in class and B, if this is something that I should include in my classroom library or maybe pass on to some of the other teachers at the school. So these are the books I'm going to be looking at over probably the next week or so. And then as for writing, my official nano project is the Swedish Tea Ring. However, there's no telling if I'm going to do much with it. I dropped everything. Right. I've got the Swedish tea ring going. I wrote all of 100 words yesterday. 70 of those, not even on this. I'm not going to lie. I had forgotten to take this to school for a nano rye fry and wound up working on a short story during class instead. Um, then I have this notebook, which is for short stories. And I put one short story in it about two years ago and have not written anything else in there. So if you have any ideas for short stories or maybe even novels that you'd like to see me work on, let me know and we'll put those in there. And then I have the Stone Dragon Saga book five, which is the last book in my Stone Dragon Saga. And I wrote a couple thousand words on it about three and a half years ago and haven't touched it since. So those are the three things I have. I've dropped more things. Those are the three things I have for NaNo and then the four books I'm looking at reading and we'll see if any of that gets done this week. I hope that you guys are having a fabulous weekend and I will talk to you again real soon. Let me know if you're participating in NaNo or if you've read any of the books I've talked about. Um, if you have anything you'd like to see me write, all that jazz, come talk to me in the comment section down below and have a wonderful day. Bye.